Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're gonna to be talking about WeCreate, and in particular, every single machine that they have. Um, if you don't know, they're rapidly approaching their two year anniversary already. Um, in September, it's gonna be two years, and they've already released five different machines. Um, and each one of them are great, and a lot of people ask, like, what's the difference between them? Which one should I get? Uh, and what are they all capable of doing? And that's gonna be this video here. So we're gonna talk about each machine step by step. I'm gonna tell you all the differences. We're gonna start with the Vision Pro here. This is the 45 watt Vision Pro. It has the ability to output 60 watts of power thanks to their uh, Beam Focus 2.0 technology. That's what they call it. Um, it basically allows them to focus that beam tighter um, down to like a 20 watts precision. So it's gonna be a better engraving ability, uh, like a better um, etching, more detail than uh, what like the 40 watt model will be. Um, but it's gonna be the same detail about what the 20 watt model is, but outputting 60 watts of power with only a 45 watt laser head. I know that's a lot of different wattages that I'm throwing out there in different names, but just note that it has a 45 watt laser head with 60 watts equivalent of output power thanks to that uh, beam focus technology there. Now with that said, all visions here have the auto lift feature here that'll go up and down automatically as it auto focuses on your materials. This is probably one of my favorite things with any kind of laser engraver out there. Uh, we creates the only ones that do the auto lift here. Um, this saves you so much money from not having to buy an extra riser base like you do with some other model um, lasers or different brands of lasers. Uh, so I definitely recommend the Vision for sure. The Vision is awesome. I love the auto lift feature. It is so convenient, but the only downside is it takes up so much space in your workshop here, both space length and height wise. So if you don't have a lot of space in your house or your shop, um, you may want to go with a smaller model, and we're going to be talking about that here next. But with that said, that is another benefit of the Vision Pro here, is this is the largest work bed that we create has here. Um, so if you're going to be doing larger sheets of engraving, you're definitely going to want this. And if you're going to do really, really long sheets, you can get the auto pass through for this as well that it sits on. I'm going to show you that here coming up as well. Um, but you can get the auto pass through and then this also comes with the pro version of the rotary So the pro version has like grips on the outside versus just the claw itself The other two models only come with the claw originally and then you have to upgrade to the pro But this one will come with the pro on the rotary already So keep that in mind and like I said, this is basically just for like small businesses or um, anybody who wants to take the hobby seriously and do a lot of cutting here. Um, if you're only gonna be doing engraving, that's gonna be something that we can talk about with the next machine if you're gonna be doing small items. Also, another quick thing to note on the WeCreate Vision Pro, it also has an HD camera, so after it auto focuses down, it'll show you a clear image of whatever you're gonna be engraving. And it also has the ability to swap out the two watt IR head with the 45 watt laser that's inside. So if you're gonna be doing metal, like marking metal, that'll be a great option that you can do as well. Just note that you are gonna to have to swap out the head each time that you swap between the 45 watt model and the two watt IR head. So the next machine we're gonna be talking about is the new WeCreate Lumos. So let's go ahead and jump over there. We'll go ahead and uh, show you the WeCreate Lumos and everything that it has to offer. Now that you guys have seen the largest machine WeCreate has to offer, let's talk about the new WeCreate Lumos. This is brand new, it's only been out for a few weeks. This is the smallest machine WeCreate has to offer. This is what I like to call the ultimate craft slash fair show event. Um, machine. So what I mean by that is it's ultra portable. This is only weighs about 20 to 25 pounds. So if you can lift that, you can move it around with one hand just like that and bring it with you. Now, please note that you will need an air filtration system or a window to vent out of at these events. You can't just place it here like this. 
you'll need to hook it up to one of those two things. I use my air filter that is underneath my table here, but if you have a window available, you don't need that air filtration system. They do sell like a small cube version that's portable and you can take those to craft events. I highly recommend doing that if you have no other option, but if you do have the option of a window, definitely vent it out the window. That's always gonna work better than an air filtration system in my opinion. Now with that said, this little machine has five different modes here. You have this standard mode here where you can lift the lid, you can engrave up to this tray here, you can pull the tray out, you can then switch to like cutting and put this tray inside here. Um, so you have that option to cut or engrave in this mode here. You also have the option to um, take the laser head out so you can unscrew there's a screw in here that will unscrew the laser head and this entire unit pops out and then you can put a little cone on it and you can engrave anywhere in the world that you want to with that cone as long as you have a power supply and a way to connect it to a computer via Wi-Fi or USB um, you have the option to add a slide tray to extend how big of a cut area or an engrave and cut area that you have so um, the slide extension tray will extend that out and then it'll go back and forth automatically like the pass through slot on the vision that you'll see here later in the video does it in a similar way but kind of side to side versus front to back uh, with that said you also have the option to add a rotary attachment so you can do like laser engraving on cups and tumblers those types of things and then last but not least, you can combine both the slide tray and the rotary tool in order to do like large baseball bats or full size tumblers. Um, you have that ability too. Super popular right now, highly recommend this. This one has a Galvo laser in it and a 10 watt uh, uh, diode laser or also known as a blue laser. Um, you have the three watt infrared or also known as a red laser and that three watt is going to be more powerful than the two watt even in the um, Vision Pro that I showed you earlier or any other model they have. The nice thing about the three watt and the 10 watt in this one, you do not have to swap these back and forth like you do with the Vision or the Vision Pro or the Vista that we're going to be talking about later. Uh, all it is is a software button. You click one button and it automatically switches in the laser head here for you. So no more swapping out the uh, IR or the 10 watt um, diode laser in here. You just push one button and you're good to go. That's super convenient. This, this machine is awesome. And what I mean by Galvo laser that I mentioned earlier, it's just a mirror in there that shimmers back and forth, which means the speeds on this thing is ultra fast. And when I mean ultra fast, I mean ultra fast. You can engrave like full size tins in about 29 seconds with the right settings. Um, and then don't get me wrong, there are some settings that you're gonna have to do like deeper engravings on. I can get up to about 11 or 12 minutes or maybe even longer if you're gonna be doing metal Metal is a lot harder to engrave. You're gonna be doing a lot of marking with this on metal, but actual engraving, you're gonna to have to do a really long, deep engrave or deep uh, settings there. And, and it's gonna take a long time for that to engrave on metal. But with that said, um, this machine is super awesome in my opinion. This is one of my favorite machines. Um, I think we pretty much covered everything on the We Create Lumos here. If you want to see an in-depth guide on how to use this machine, I just created that. Or if you want an in-depth guide of just this specific machine, I've done one of those as well. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into the two vision models. Next up, we have the We Create Vision 40 watt and 20 watt model. And what I mean by that is they are the same thing except for the wattage and the color here and probably the cable management, but uh, I can't confirm that because I only have a beta machine of the 20 watt model, which is in a whole different location. So I won't be filming that in this video, but if you want to see that in the side-by-side -side comparison, check out the 20 watt versus 40 watt vision video that I did. But uh, with that said, they are the same machine here, except for this color blue is the 40 watt model. The white color is the 20 watt model. Um, and uh, the 40 watt model 
we'll just lose a little bit of engraving detail. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna be doing more cutting and you want a faster cut and a faster engrave, get the 40 watt. If you want a finer detail, but a slower engraving and less powerful cut, then get the 20 watt model. Now with that said, the detail isn't that big of a difference in my opinion, um, but if you're gonna be doing ultra high resolution uh, photos, that's where you're gonna see the detail come into play. And you may wanna do the 20 watt model. If you wanna save some extra money, go ahead and get the 20 watt model. The worst case scenario is you have to run two passes for a cut that this may only need one pass for. If you want more cutting power than even this one, definitely get that Vision Pro that I showed you earlier. That is a great unit. Um, if you guys need help or tips and tricks, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We drop different hints and tricks like this all the time. Um, so I really recommend that. I appreciate you guys for subscribing along the way. And then as far as cable management goes, like I said, my machine is a beta machine. So it kind of is like a mess with cables in my opinion, um, compared to this. This one has really nice, neat, wire management, even with this extra um, uh, pass-through base that I've attached, and then I wired this up here, it's a lot less messy than the 20 watt model was, but yours may not be like that because yours won't be a beta version. Now, with that said, I told you I would talk about the pass-through slot here. The pass-through slot can do up to, I believe, eight different leg extensions. So you can get a really long sheet of material in here It'll then engrave and cut back and forth automatically for you. So unlike the Glowforge where you have to take a picture, it'll cut a zone, you move it forward, it takes another picture. This one will automatically read it in the software, go back and forth and start cutting and engraving for you. It's super awesome. This is gonna be compatible with both Visions and the, uh, we, or the Vision Pro as well. So you'll be able to use this thing on all of those different machines there. So with that said, I think we pretty much hit all of the basis on this. This has the same functionality as the Vision Pro with the camera, the two watt infrared that can swap in and out, the ability to auto lift as well. Um, now with that said, let's go ahead and jump into their last unique machine called We Create Vista. And last but not least, we have the We Create Vista here. This is their 10 watt model with a smaller footprint than like the Vision or the Vision Pro but it has a larger working bed than the actual We Create Lumos that I showed you earlier. So this has a 10 watt model, just like the Lumos has. In my opinion, this cuts better than the Lumos. And if you're gonna be doing larger projects that you're gonna be cutting with, you're gonna wanna get this one. Um, you can also engrave just like every other one of their machines. And this one has a cool, unique twist as well. And what I mean by that is the laser head will actually turn on its side so you can use the rotary engraving on this. So you can use the rotary engraving like larger cups in here while that is turned sideways and engrave on the side of any kind of item in your rotary, whether it's like um, Christmas ornaments or cups or golf balls, anything that you want in there, it has a nice small footprint. So if you want a smaller one that you don't have to reach all the way up here and then back down into the machine like this one, uh, then you can get the Vista for sure. But just note that it is only a 10 watt model, so it's not gonna cut nearly as thick of items as like the 45 watt model here. But uh, with that said, you can get a finer detailed engraving with the 10 watt. So the lower wattage you go, the finer the engraving will be. So keep that in mind. This also has an HD camera built into the top like all of WeCreate's uh, lasers do. So it'll show you a nice clear image of what you're engraving. Um, it also has a red dot focus point. So it shoots a beam from here to here onto your material. It's almost dead center every time. So make sure your material lines up that. Click focus, that camera will auto focus and show you a picture on the screen whenever you have it turned on. And then you can go ahead and engrave. Overall, uh, like I said, I recommend this for beginners. Uh, if you want to get as cheap of a unit as possible with as big of a work area as possible that can cut and engrave, the We Create Vista is a great option there. I don't really know too many lasers out there that is comparable to this in both price and um, the performance. Like, and what I mean by that, like features, for example, because the thing is packed with features. 
You also have the option to get a two watt IR laser for this to swap out the 10 watt head as well. And this one is much easier to swap out than this one is. This one is literally like two screws. You pop it out and then pop it back in. It's, it's a really easy process. So this one's a lot easier if you're gonna be doing a lot more swapping out um, than this one is here. But this one is a lot more professional so keep that in mind. So this is gonna be for like the crafter and hobbyist. This is gonna be for like the small business, always running um, and always cutting kind of thing. So keep that in mind. Hopefully I helped clarify all five of these different machines for you guys. If you found this interesting, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to join the We Create Users group like I mentioned at the start of this video and we'll catch you guys in the next one.